Pink Floyd Niagara is set to make their return to the stage February 8th and 9th at the Seneca Queen Theatre in Niagara Falls. The Zors caught up with the award-winning group at a recent rehearsal. Uh, well, we'd be going back to 2006. At the time, I had just left a, another Pink Floyd band. Uh, we were playing in bars and I was getting real tired of the bar scene and whatnot. And uh, my friend Larry, who's also a keyboard player, he approached me with an idea. He said, uh, we should put together a real Pink Floyd band, just like, just like the Pulse DVD. And we should put it in a fixed venue someplace in Niagara, where we're all from, and uh, try to you know, run it as a tourist attraction, run it every weekend kind of thing. And, you know, we thought about this for a year. We started looking at venues, and we even came here at the time. The place was, <laughs> wasn't what you see today, that's for sure. Um, we found a venue, we put together the band of all people most of us played with at one point. And another, we rehearsed for 200 hours or so. We got production, we moved in, and we did it in 2007. And it was successful to a point whereby we decided we'd try again in 2008. And uh, we, we, in the end, we did about 53 shows. We won two awards for the shows, which, you know, led us to believe anyway that it was a good show. People seemed to like it. We've never, uh, never received any negative feedback. So, um, yeah, but uh, after that, we, we kind of put it to bed because financially it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a huge hit. And uh, it wasn't until earlier on this year where we decided Let's try it again, right? People can expect an even bigger and better performance than years past. Everyone's returned. Uh, we, we do have one new singer in our choir, but uh, for the most part, it's, it's everybody as it was. <clears throat> Music's the same. We've changed up a couple of songs. All the production is brand new, so the, the light show is going to be phenomenal this year compared to years prior. Even though it was good then, it's, there's always room for improvement. It's the same quadraphonic sound system. Uh, well, it's a different system, but it's the same quad anyway. Uh, so, you know, we're recreating the Pulse Tour as well as we can on a small stage, on a fixed budget, so to speak. Uh, well, we're doing, you know, like sh open, the, open the first set with Shine On which is a great Pink Floyd opener. That, that's how they opened theirs, so that's how we opened ours. And then, you know, classics like Have a Cigar, Pigs from Animals, and uh, we do a medley from The Wall, favorites. Uh, we do some, like, some new stuff. Well, we're doing High Hopes this year, uh, Dogs of War, which we did before, um, Sorrow off the Division Bell. And uh, the second set is the same as it was. It was the dark side of the moon in its entirety. And then uh, Comfortably Numb, Wish You Were Here, and Run Like Hell. So. Greg has one word to describe how he wants people to feel after seeing Pink Floyd Niagara play live. Joy. <laughs> Joy and, uh, and uh, I want them to be assured that, yes, indeed, it was worth every penny. Performances are February 8th and 9th at the Seneca Queen Theatre in Niagara Falls. For tickets, visit PinkFloydNiagara.com. In Niagara Falls, for The Source, I'm William Kelly.